good afternoon dear students now today we are going to discuss here fungal biopesticides see in the last presentation we discussed about what are biopesticides what are the different classes of biopesticide that is microbial pesticide herbal pesticides then plant integrated protectants okay or transgenic plants and we discussed in detail about bacterial pesticide okay uh, in the class of microbial pep, uh, pesticides we discussed about bacterial uh, pesticides now here we are going to discuss about fungal and viral biopesticides now what are fungal biopesticides fungal biopesticides are nothing but entomopathogenic fungi fungi which attack insect pest okay now the entomopathogenic fungi attack insect and cause diseases in the body of the insect which leads to the death of the insect now there are three prominent fungi which are used as fungal biopesticides okay what are those bavaria bacinia it is effective against colorado potato beetle and pine caterpillar metarhizium anisopliae used against frog hopper insects in sugarcane production and in verticillium lecani which is used to control aphids and white flies so the three important are bavaria bacinia metarhizium anisopliae verticillium lecani now apart from this trichoderma is a versatile fungi which is used as biopesticide also and as a biofertilizer also so apart from these three fungi the one more important one is the trichoderma okay now let us discuss in detail about what is the action of fungal biopesticide on micro uh, on the insect pest okay so let us discuss the mode of action of bavaria Now, Bavaria bacinia is a filamentous fungus which belongs to the class of Deuteromycetes. It is also called as imperfect fungi. It can be successfully used against Colorado potato beetle, pine caterpillars, American bollworm, etc. Now, how does the in insect affect the? Uh, I mean, how does the fungus affect the insect? What happens first? The body cavity of the insect is called as hemoseal so the fungus actually invades or enters inside the hemoseal of the insect through the through spores how now how the spores enter inside once the spore attaches to the cuticle of the insect okay first the spore lands and attaches to the cuticle of the insect body okay and then it germinates on the cuticle okay the spores of the fungi germinate on the cuticle and after germination the hyphae penetrate inside the insect cuticle that is it penetrates the epicuticle and procuticle what is pro uh, what is cuticle outermost membrane of the insect so the spores of fungus land on it attach to it germinate their hyphae penetrate epicuticle procuticle and the it penetrates the epidermis also okay it crosses the epidermis also and reaches inside the body cavity of the insect called as hemoseal okay now how does the insect penetrate with the help of apressorium and penetration peg okay so the insect penetrates inside the body of the sorry the fungus penetrates inside the body of the insect body cavity of the insect by apressorium and penetration peg now so once the insect reaches inside the hemoseal there is a fluid present in the hemoseal which is which is called as hemolymph okay so the uh, fungal hyphae penetrate inside the hemolymph and proliferate inside the body cavity okay when they proliferate they colonize the and uh, colonize the entire insect body cavity they colonize entire hemoseal utilize the hemolymph which is a nutritious fluid present inside and release the blastospores so blastospores spores of the fungi are released inside the body cavity inside the hemolymph the fungus secrete chitinases lipases proteases which help in dissolving the cuticle wall of the insect once they enter inside the hemophil they proliferate there they colonize there and blastospores are released because of which insect death occurs because of what nutrient depletion because the fungus feeds on the hemolymph and hence the insect body the insect die due to nutrition depletion, uh, depletion of the hemolymph or by toxemia by secretion of toxic metabolites okay so you can see here this is epicutic i mean cuticle wall with the help of apressorium with the help of penetration peg first the spore germinates 
its fungal hyphae penetrate inside process the cute uh, epidermis enters inside the body cavity hemocell inside the hemocell is present hemolymph nutrition is utilized by the fungus from the hemolymph the insect undergoes starvation nutrient depletion but the fungus releases its blastospores inside the hemocell okay and that is how the insect die because of starvation okay or because of toxemia so this with this picture you can see all the fungus grown in the body of the insect and the ultimately the insect die right so that is about how a fungal biopesticide how a fungi kills the insect pest okay now similarly uh, other than bavaria we can use what we can use metarhizium we can use verticillium to control the growth of insect pest in our agricultural field now the next one is trichoderma trichoderma has been used as a biocontrol agent as well as a growth promoting agent that means it can serve as a biopesticide also as well as a biofertilizer it's a trichoderma virige is a high efficiency organic biological control agent it produces antibiotics okay uh, it uh, undergoes nutrient competition parasitic cell wall degradation enzyme and induce plant resistance mechanism it makes the plant resistant to various uh, you can say attack by insects not only by insects but also by soil microbes okay so all in all it protects the soil okay uh, i'm sorry it protects the plant not only from insects but also from other pathogens so trichoderma is also used as a biocontrol agent next category of microbial pesticide is viral biopesticide now viral biopesticides or viral insecticides are pathogens what are viral biopesticides they are pathogens that attack the insect and other arthropods so viral pesticides are used to control lepidopterous larvae like helicoverpa spodectera species of cotton corn sorghum tomatoes etc baculoviruses are commonly used by viral biopesticides they are extreme so baculovirus are the commonly used viral biopesticides are extremely small and are composed of double stranded dna okay now baculovirus can be divided into three or there are three varieties of virus uh, viruses which can be used as viral biopesticides what are the three varieties nuclear polyhedrosis virus npv can be used as a viral pesticide granulosis virus gv can be used as a viral pesticide and cytoplasmic polyhedrosis virus okay so npv cpv gv all the three can be used as viral pesticides right you can see in the diagram the virus enters inside the insect body via ingestion by insects okay so virus it's uh, sorry the insect itself uh, ingests the virus then the virus after entering inside the body of the insect it infects the midgut cell by membrane fusion okay the nuclear polyhedrosis virus uncoats itself within the nucleus of the cell passes through the intestinal epithelium and establish a systemic infection of the hemocell and that leads to the death of the insect okay now uh, what happens when the insects are attacked by viruses the larvae turns brown or yellow okay a uh, discoloration decomposition or softening of larvae lethargy infected larvae hang upside down twigs larvae become swollen with fluid containing virus and they eventually die turning black in color this npv can be produced in laboratory on a large scale and uh, can be used as viral pesticide how npv are mass produced in laboratory using suitable larval host okay we use the larvae host and allow the viruses are grown inside the living larval host the fifth stage larvae are fed with food infected with npv after 4 to 5 days the larvae die the dead larvae are collected macerated the liquid is centrifuged and the pellet containing the virus is suspended in sterile distilled water and this suspension is sprayed in the field as a viral pesticide okay now other than microbial pesticides we also have herbal pesticides okay like biochemicals that are present in neem the tura tobacco and other plants can be used to protect the crop against attack by insects and various microbial diseases okay so biochemical or herbal pesticides can also be used to control the insect pest 
बायोकेमिकल्स व्हाट नीम प्लांट एक्सट्रैक्ट दतूरा और टोबैको प्लांट एक्सट्रैक्ट और इंसेक्ट सेक्स हार्मोन्स ओके देन इंसेक्ट अट्रैक्टेंट्स और इंसेक्ट रेपेलेंट्स कैन बी यूज्ड एज हर्बल पेस्टिसाइड then the last two one or the third category is transgenic plants as bio pesticides or plant in uh, incorporated protectants right what we do is plant incorporated protectants means what a gene which produces a toxic protein will be introduced into the plant itself the plant itself will produce the toxin so that when the insect feeds on the plant the insect will die the plant itself will serve as a bio pesticide so we incorporate the protective mechanism inside the plant itself so the best example is developing a transgenic plant as a bio pesticide so transgenic plants are those which contain a foreign gene maybe from a bacteria maybe from an animal or other plant so it contains a foreign gene the foreign gene that is present in a transgenic plant is responsible for producing insecticidal protein like toxic uh, Yeah, protein, uh, crystal protein, delta endotoxin protein from Bt, etc., or enzymes. Okay, so the genes responsible for producing insecticidal protein or enzymes are transferred to the crop plants by the mechanism of genetic engineering technique to protect the plant from attack by attack of insect. And this will also help us to reduce the spray of chemical pesticide because the plant itself is going to serve as a bio pesticide. So the spray of chemical pesticide will also be reduced and it will help us in reducing the environmental pollution also now these transgenic plant carry additional genes and they start producing the toxic uh, insecticidal protein or the enzyme themselves right when the insect feed on these transgenic plant maybe leaves or other parts of the plant the toxin or the enzyme present in the leaves will kill them kill the insect and remove the insect okay so uh, we can see here in the diagram plant incorporated protectant so this is bacillus thuringiensis the bt gene which uh, is responsible for producing uh, bt toxin or insecticidal protein is uh, the, the gene is inserted into the plant when the insect feed on this plant okay the plant itself will release the toxin inside the body of the insect and the insect will die so a uh, various uh, genes bacterial genes which have been in, uh, used to develop transgenic crop are from bacillus thuringiensis cry1 gene or bacillus thuringiensis cry1 ab gene or 9c gene or 3a gene okay which will help us in developing bt cotton bt maize bt potato and from the organism streptomyces the enzyme cholesterol oxidase was inserted in uh, to develop uh, a transgenic tobacco plant to control boll weevil larvae bt cotton helps to control cotton boll worm bud worm bt maize helps you to control european corn borer and so on okay so that is how uh, you can say transgenic plant or, or the plant integrated protectants that is the gene inserted inside the transgenic plant itself will produce the toxic protein or the enzyme which will help the plant to kill the insect pest so that is all about uh, various fungal viral bio pesticides herbal bio pesticides and transgenic plant which themselves can serve as bio pesticide so that is all about bio pesticides okay